so in our last video of the sap ui5 series we have seen how to design the table in sap ui5 application and here uh, so this is our project for details and this is these are the related files and we have this uh, our product view uh, so here we have the base and we have the table and this table columns and here how the uh, values are bound to the cells here and if i execute and here uh, uh, so the the values is coming from this dot json file which is created on this model folder and this is the a18 and this is our uh, uh, view controller anyway we cannot do anything in this controller so let me just execute this project let's see how the output looks like uh, run as a extract html and yeah we can see this is our page so this is our page title and we have this table the table help text and we have six different columns and in this column we have this five rows tables now in this video series what we are going to do we are going to discuss the two controls about the object identifier and the object number so object number uh, with that control what we can do we can put together the price and this unit in in one of the column and if i go to this api reference here we have this object number this is one of the controller control and if i go to the properties here we will see can see there is something called as number and we can display also the unit we'll use that so what will happen so now basically these two columns will go away and we will have one column displaying both the price and what is it related to unit and also we can make use of another control object identifier this is basically so what we can do here the product id and the product name we can display in in one column uh, so that the product name will come on the top and we can make display the product id down in one column so that that's the point so if we are going to here so there is something called as so we, it has something called as title we can make use of this title property and uh, some text property and title property to bring both these two field values together in one column so let's make relative changes in our in our uh, view xml so that means we need uh, uh, so these two column becomes one column and these two columns will stay as it is so three and these two will be one so so we need four columns now so what we can do is here so so this is our uh, view xml so let's say in the product digestion so it contains six name pair uh, name pair values that should be okay no problem here so so here what we can do this time we'll take out so we'll take out this two so here we need only one and also here we will need only one so it becomes one hmm. So and here we'll not do product ID. We'll say this product. So, so what we can do and we can go to the I18. So instead, of, so earlier we are showing this is a product ID. Now, uh, so both for both the columns, we'll keep it as this product. So we gave a new I18 prod. So let's go to here. So let's add another one. Let's go. Here. Product. We just say, yeah, or D. Okay, so that's what we defined here. Now I it in. I can define this product is equal to product. So we are we are done here, and let's so save it with Control S. So rename. So we have one, two, three, four columns, and let me. Comment this one at least for the time being. So comment. So this 
this line has just commented. Let's see. So if I go to here, connect this one, so how it looks like. If we are running into some kind of error, this is binding a creation. So, let's at this moment we'll take this item. Save it. Let's wait now. Yeah. So the table has come up. So now we have four columns now. So that's it. So what we can do? So let so but now we bind the values to the sets now. So let's do a verify. Yeah. So verify is the product name and product ID. So we we'll, we are going to take out these two and we are going to take out these two. So so now in this case we'll use object identifier. So if I open this object identifier, it has something called title and text. So we can give title and the title will take the product name itself and in the text we are going to display the product ID. That is how and we don't need these two texts. It's gone. Remove this one. So object identifier and the second one was we need we want to put together the price and the currency or the unit together. So we have something called object number. We have something called is number and the another one is called unit here. Object so this object number number we can give the number is this one and uh, that so we have to take out these two that's now so. Control S and save it. So now we have four individual columns and we have four cells here. If I go down here, I do the refresh. So you see here, you can see we have this product info. And we have this. so there's four columns, and we see this. Uh, this is the uh, object identifier where we display this is the title, which is the product name, and the product ID itself appears as a text. This is, and and if in the price section, we can see uh, so this is the price, and this is the unit. And here we added as the object number 
as a uh, in the object number control we have the number at property and we have the unit property this is point so the name is mobile so i need to say correct oh this is mobile so the objection file let me correct this one so mobile so let's save this Reason so, so now everything is correct now. Yeah. So this is a how we can use uh, the object identifier control and object number control in a table.